In the spirit for screen scene plates, here's your look at the Celebrity Machine Ghostbusters Ecto-1 Replica License Plates. Yes, we are going to be having a look at three distinct license plates, but they do share two things in common. They're all pulled from the same popular franchise, and they happen to be all on the same vehicle through different stages of that vehicle's life. That is the Ecto. The Ecto-1, the Ecto-1A, and the Ecto-1 in the new Ghostbusters Afterlife, you can pick up over on the website at Celebrity Machines. This was the included card that came with the license plates that I picked up. You can follow them over also on Amazon, eBay, and Facebook. You can follow them there. www.celebritymachines.com is their website, or again... I'll provide the link down below to their Etsy store, where they also have a store there as well. And what they sell, though, is replica license plates from popular film and television. Here are a few examples that you can see right there. I definitely would encourage you, if you have the chance and opportunity and in the market, to get some replica license plates. Head on over to their website and check out all the stuff that they have, because this there's a lot more going on than simply just the ones being shown here on the card. But with Ghostbusters Afterlife going to be slightly postponed, but still going to be a film that's going to be coming out, I definitely did want to get replicas of the classic vintage Ecto-1. Now, I did get all three of them. They do sell these as standalones, or they can you can also pick them up, I believe, also in a three-pack as well that contains the original Ecto-1 license plate, the Ecto-1A, and the one from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Each plate is pressed brand new and made in the U.S. and individually shrink-wrapped. They also ship both domestic and international, and all the plates are in stock and ready to be shipped in generally one business day. Here are the individual plates, obviously one-to-one -one scale, short of the fact that you would be able to attach this to your car, because that sort of would defeat the purpose of having a legal license plate for a road vehicle. You can most definitely put this up on a wall hang this you can mount this certainly by a couple of nails you can just mount this onto your wall and as i said they do have a wide range of different license plates available these are all printed on aluminum and they are metal stamped embossed in aluminum and like i said they're all shrink wrapped when they come to your door the back will show you basically the simple aluminum that is used and then of course then it's printed on the front this features the ecto-1 with a nice raised font ecto-1 and then New York down below. Follow along with that, I did also pick up the New York Ecto-1A. Uh, this one now does have the inclusion of commercial down below with a rather familiar Statue of Liberty that would play a pivotal role to the end of the film. One of the more laughable aspects of Ghostbusters 2. I didn't like that as much. But you can see it's been printed on rather nicely. Now this one here is the white license plate, whereas the original Ecto-1 was a yellow license plate. The white license plate now showcases a few bands of stripes in red, with now the font done in blue. Where I guess technically the original license plate was also done in a dark blue. This one does have, like I said, the New York with a two or two holes on the top, two holes on the bottom that you can then mount this. Generally, again, I'm going to be mountain, mounting this uh, to a wall just to kind of display it by my movie collection. One thing that they do also market as well is the new Ecto-1 distressed license plate that will be appearing on the Ecto-1 in the upcoming Ghostbusters Afterlife. And this is, again, a recreation to the one that appears in the film. It does have that natural sort of rusting that has been printed in this case, certainly, to mimic the license plate that appears in the film. But it does have, like, a good age to it. Short of the fact that the license plate is still pristine and pretty shiny, it is a pretty bang-on likeness based on what we've seen of the footage of the original Ecto-1. Now, of course, now weathered, aged, and neglected, the license plate also reflects that as well. As I said, though, there's a wide range of different license plates available that you can choose from. And you can follow them most definitely on various different outlets, such as uh, eBay, and also on their website. But initially, I did find them over on Etsy. 
perusing through different collectibles available, I came across and stumbled across Celebrity Machines. And there's definitely a lot of different license plates that I could most definitely find myself picking up while I have like the original Out of Time and the California Night from Knight Rider through uh, a subscription box. I believe it was actually the BAM box where these were packed inside. They also do have, a, like I said, a whole wide range of different television and movie inspired replicas of license plates on some of your favorite movie and TV cars. Again, if you guys are in the market of picking these ones up for yourself, you can head on over to their website at www.celebritymachines.com and check out some of the stuff that you have. If uh, Again, if you are looking to pick this one up for yourself, the license plates generally are quite affordable. Uh, they're quickly shipped in stock, so as soon as like the order was placed, these license plates arrived uh, pretty fast, I must admit, after the fact. I'm looking forward to putting these ones on display. And again, like if you guys want to check these out, head on over to their website. Don't worry, I'll, don't worry, I'll put all that link information down below in the video description. Today, we were having a look at some designer license plates, replicas of the license plates that you would see through popular television and film from the company CelebrityMachines.com. If you guys are new to this channel, digging this guy's content and certainly would like to stay on board and see more, you can click that link of that subscription box down below in the bottom corner of this video. And you can also swing on over to the bell notification and turn that on so that when future videos are coming onto this channel, you won't be the one that's missing out. We're going to have a lot of stuff lined up and coming your way, so keep your peepers peeled for that. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do, and I'll see you guys next time.